Hello, I'm Professor DiNardo. I'm here in the Lecture Demonstrations Laboratory in the Physics Department at the Naval Postgraduate School. And I'd like to show you a demonstration that we do in our Nonlinear Oscillations and Waves course. The demonstration shows that traveling water waves carry momentum. Here is a container of liquid. It is ethyl alcohol with the difluorescein so that the waves can be seen. Water works too, but alcohol works better. Two parallel plates are suspended from clamps attached to a support. The container rests on a shaker, which is off right now. The shaker will be driven, it goes up and down, it's going to be driven with noise in a band of frequencies from 10 to 20 hertz, and surface waves will be excited. So what happens to the plates? This is an analog system of the famous Casimir effect which was predicted by Casimir in 1948. Surprisingly, two conducting uncharged parallel plates attract each other in a vacuum. The reason is that there are always virtual photons. Photons are particles of light. There are virtual photons that come into and out of existence even though no real photons may be present. Virtual photons cannot be directly observed, but they have consequences that can be observed. Because photons carry momentum and because there are fewer photons between the plates, there's an imbalance of light pressure which produces a, an attractive force on the plates. This force is extremely small and was not accurately confirmed until a half a century after its prediction. We can greatly enhance the effect by using real surface waves on a liquid. The idea is the same. There will be less wave motion between the plates, so there will be a net inward force on the plates due to the waves reflecting off the outside of the plates. I'm now slowly increasing the drive amplitude. Eventually, we'll see the surface waves. Nothing appears to be happening to the plates. However, as I make the amplitude greater and greater, and the, wave, the amplitude of the waves is higher, the plates come noticeably closer together. This is tricky here because we are pushing the shaker and the amplifier lim nearly to their limit, where they will automatically shut off. I'm now turning off the drive. Note that the plates are slowly moving farther apart to their original locations. A student and a colleague and I have published this effect. A PDF is available on the NPS Lecture Demonstrations website.